I am going to call out to all the fish <laughs> and to a, to a all the sound. animals and you dolphins and whales and be like, Can you get a shark? <laughs> help, yeah. I'd be like, look, guys. Help <laughs> these people. Could you cut him to ribbons? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sort of My sword goes all the way through the middle. And oh. just like, oh, it sort of like <laughs> fillets this pirate. Yeah. It comes away in a series of little oh Julien. slices. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he was Julien a pirate. But basically, he barely even breaks his stride talking oh. about being a pirate. He's like, there's this thing I can do. It's sort of just a little bit more. <laughs> And that's how I became a paladin, really. And when when oh. the heat wave dies down, yes. Torothon, you kind of shield your Jeez. eyes. There's Man. just sort of a pile of ash and a very oh. on fire boathouse number five. Oh! In the distance, not in the distance, sort of like near enough, you see a very familiar ship. Oh kind my of just god! Just sailing across. Uh, it's the joyful damnation. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to finish this because I want my bloody boat back. Yeah. And if you want to join me. Come on, guys. <laughs> Let's go get my boat back. <laughs> if Corazon gets oh. his boat back, he won't want to adventure with us anymore. You can, we can adventure together on my boat. On the boat. My mm, awesome pirate ship. Sounds pretty it will good. Be the same. It will be great. Oh, you'll okay. have your own cabin, dog. It'll have like a I'm hammock. In. <laughs> <laughs> Think of there's, and we'll have rum, and there'll be uh, exotic pineapples and fruits. Let's do Prudence. it. Yeah. If we go over there, you're going to get to kill some more pirates. Let's do it. Let's do yeah. It. Having just talked like two pineapples. people, I don't feel awfully close to my atonement. So I feel like maybe some more adventuring might get might me help yeah. Yeah. to atone yeah. for my sins. More torching. All right. Are you in with heading over there? Yeah. I mean, I've got the transport, haven't I? Have you? Look at all these squids. We're going to ride squids. Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh, well, the, the pirates, let, um, we saw which boat they arrived in, so we can yeah. take that one. And we can have, if you get a squid to pull it. Yeah. Well, yeah. we just ride yeah. the squids directly. Why? Are you sure you're feeling up to this, Corazon? Oh, yeah, I did actually get cut a bit oh. in the shoulder. Uh, so... let, let me patch you up. Oh, if you there, could, that would be really useful, actually. Yes. Um, I think my arm's hanging off a bit. I prepare to, to lay my hands on, on Corazon for a bit of uh, healing. If you could, um, thank you. Uh, and I'll, yeah, I'll do I'll do that first. So I'm I'm going to use the spell heal wounds. Is yeah, that heal wounds. Heal wounds. One heal, action heal, range heal wounds range. right up. So you basically you heal one d8. So roll a d8. Yeah. Um, Six. Cool. Great. You I only had two healthier. points. I mean, I only had a scratch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it needed my healing. Ah, I feel a lot better. Twas but a scratch. Twas. Mm. Curly Joe never did know how to cut anyone. You trained him. I know, I trained him not to be able to cut me, but <laughs> he never tried to cut me. Oh, I and, and I, I would like to scoop a, a sliver of Julienne Pirate out, oh. of, out of the water. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> well, like, we're, if you want to head over to the boat and to like try and get your ship back, I just think it might be useful to have a remnant of the last pirate suit. Well, that's just a fistful of organic matter. Why don't you like pick his hat out the of ash. the wreckage or something? It's or got something. a distinctive bit of beard it's stuck got, to oh, it. Oh, no, I actually, I'm looking at it, I can see that the distinctive anchor tattoo. Oh, a tattoo. bit of tattoo, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Right, yes, of course. Yes, yeah. uh -huh. Can't believe I didn't see it at first. Kind of like, you know those ham Wait. things that were like in the shape of a bear's face? It's, yeah, but it's very yeah. clearly pirate. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> let, me have a, let me have a close look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah that's right. what it is. You see the distinctive anchor tattoo. Uh, it, that's a slice of pirate, all right. Yeah. yeah. Cool, so. Wafer thin pirate. I guess uh, you, you clump over to the, the pirate skiff. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Followed then, by some, mm -hmm. you know, like a trail of squid sort of following you along yeah. there. Occasionally there's a whale sort of breaching to, <laughs> it feels like doing something. <laughs> do, you, do you think you could ask the whale to just fully breach into the ship? That's what I was wondering, I'm let's, gonna ask. That might let's destroy not the ship. Yeah, let's not damage the ship, hey guys. Uh, no, just give it a nudge though, hit the ship. not to actually just damage to, the ship, just to unbalance but to everyone. unbalance it and make everyone lose their footing. Like also, yeah, if, if we get the whale to do that as we're approaching, then it will stop them being able to retaliate with cannon fire. Yeah. Mm. So you, you're all in the. I, I, I'm kind of imagining you're you're having this conversation while you're inventing the speedboat. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lashing yeah. dolphins to us. Yeah. yeah. Fine. That's so what you the start. Is. You sort of start motoring out. Marilyn's kind of there, like really. To be honest, you're milking it. <laughs> <laughs> Full Titanic. I'm yeah. Titanic. Yeah. I'm Titanicing at the front. Good. <laughs> um, dolphins just. Push, 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 push. If you do want to ask the whale to ram the boat, fine. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll be like, don't hurt yourself, but go nudge it. Give him a nudge. Go, go give him a hard nudge. nudge the boat. How much damage does a whale do? Um, <laughs> Barely any. But it's a whale that's going a little bit gentle. What, what kind of whale? Yeah. It's a whale that's a um, uh, big blue yeah, what whale. What kind of whale is it? Humpback. Oh, okay. Nice, and that's what I was thinking. Henry. Henry the Humpback whale. Henry the Humpback whale. <laughs> you took the time whale. to ask the whale what his name was. Yeah, um, I'm thoughtful like that. Meryl, when kind of like she changes her aspects a little and, and sort of uh, suddenly you see, if you're watching the ship, uh, the sails kind of judder. And in fact, the whole ship kind of rocks and you see the people on the top deck struggle to keep their feet um, as the whale just kind of like beneath the waterline just smashes <laughs> into the boat. Um, and you see it, you do, to be fair, you see it kind of like it, it, it uh, blows its blowhole and goes away. But. Um, you don't think that the way whales are built, they can go like, but it seems to be doing something. Like, um, it's, it's okay. Is, is um, the other word? I, yeah. So, but it's probably done with helping you out for yeah. now. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. good. He's, good he's use done, of attack whale, though. He's done a good be. job. Cool. Um, okay, so you start pulling up to uh, the ship, um, and there's already a rope ladder actually, sort of there, waiting right. for you down the side. Guys, we need to be up there, show of force, because we don't yeah. ideally want to get into another fight. We can we? only go up a rope ladder one at a time, though. Yeah, dog, you've got Unless the... I backflip. You've got the... <laughs> Do you want backflips from the... <laughs> backflips into the crow's nest <laughs> with a cheeky grin. No, no, no. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is my ship. And yes. I know how to get around it, so I don't need to use the rope ladder. I can just... Scamper up, up. scamper up the side. I mean, I've done this a thousand times. Yeah, so. many was a night that uh, the captain went out carousing by himself. And even drunk, he knows how to climb onto his own ship. Exactly. So I can come up at the same time um, as someone else. And if you guys follow up the, the rope ladder. Dog, do you want to come up with me? You got, you got the ribbon, you got the, the, the slice yeah. of pirate ham. Yeah, yeah. I'm up. I'm up. All right, so ribbon in one hand. So up I the... go up at the same time as Dog. Okay. Um, we land on the deck. And I guess the others are following us up. Yeah, the rope right behind yeah. on the rope ladder. Sounds good. What do we, mm -hmm. So we survey the deck. And so you kind of um, you start to climb up, and as you peek over Corathon, you see uh, just one man standing on the deck. Um, oh, he's he's wearing blast. <laughs> a very distinctive hat. Indeed, it used to be your hat. It's a very grand sort of hat with one of those swooping you were a bit showy, things. Actually, it's a very showy, showy, <laughs> showy hat. Um, and he's just standing there. He's looking straight at you, like he knew you were coming. Right. Um, and he's just he's got his sort of thumbs hooked into his belt. Uh, there are crew members sort of scampering around now, to be honest, running with buckets from below deck and starting to, to empty out water. It seems like the whale did a fair bit of damage right. to the old joyful damnation. But uh, the, the man fixes you with his gaze and goes, Corathon de Leon. And it is uh, the now Captain Panniers. Um, you remember Panniers when he was, uh, well, he joined as the ship's carpenter, but very quickly made his way up the ranks and was first mate under your command. And you thought you had some pretty good times together, but um, after you escaped the ship, well, I guess, you know, there was a change in the uh, command structure. Yeah, apparently so. <laughs> yeah. Um, Dob, what are you doing? You're sort of just standing at the top of a rope ladder with a sodden piece of pirate. Uh, well, <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. All right, so I'm, I vault over onto the deck, uh, and with my powerful orc four limbs, I <laughs> fling the sliver of meat full in the face of the first mate. <laughs> what, like uh, it slaps dog. him across the face? Yeah, smack. Uh, we, show, we agreed, we're, we're show, show of force, right? yeah. yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Intimidation. Uh, so this is a dexterity um, attack. <laughs> uh, I really hope I don't hit chorus. <laughs> You're looking to be a 15. You don't have oh, proficiency man. in slices of pirate. So just roll it and add your, your dex modifier. Mm -mm. Oh gosh, okay. Six. 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 Yeah. Six. Six plus five. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> Throw the slice of pirate and it kind of just goes in oh. front of him, like like you've dropped a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's still a, a sending a powerful message. <laughs> Very fine company you keep here, Mr. De Leon. I can tell you this time, it's nothing personal. I mean, obviously, we're still not quits about the coins, and in two years, if you're still alive, you can bet that old Curly Joe will be back. Yeah. Selling the score. Yeah, I bet you will. So this time we've got ourselves a little benefactor. What? 
That's who? Right. We're being paid very handsomely to kill you, Carathon de Leon. By whom? Or should I say, Percival Milktoast. <laughs> <laughs> oh! I uh, just giggle slowly. You do look like a Percival, now that Percy. I see it. Uh, I like it. Oh, no, Percy the Pirate! <laughs> Who like, told you that name? You hear a very slow tread of some very expensive boots Ooh. coming up from below decks. As slowly onto the deck of the ship um, emerges your father. <gasps> what? Lord Milk Toast <laughs> himself! Oh damn! You were highborn. He goes and stands next to uh, to Panias and says, "Percy, <laughs> it's my father's hand." I, you are not my father. I'm pretty sure I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I have no father. I'm Corazon de Leon. I was born in the belly of a pirate ship. I grew up there. I never grew up in Hertfordshire in a mansion. <laughs> yes, we're all very familiar with the, the stories. You've sent us many pamphlets home, but uh, to be honest, it's getting a little bit embarrassing and it's getting quite expensive covering it up. The people in high society are starting to find out about Corathon de Leon, the pirate who, well, let's face it, is just a bit of a ninny. <laughs> Whoa! What stories have they been listening to? The ones I sent in the pamphlet? Read them the ones in the pamphlet! <laughs> <laughs> They're the best ones! Why do we send the pamphlets Ooh. if you're not gonna read them? We're not them. gonna read the stories in it! Listen, I've just, I've had enough of this. I've decided to put an end to this embarrassment one way or the other. You can come home now, and you can return to being Percival Milk Toast, and you can continue to live as my son and heir, and we won't mention it again. No way, man. All that sounds I like ask, a pretty good deal. All I ask, thank you, Dra Dragon Man. Dragon <laughs> Ma man, <laughs> we can you get can come later. home right now, or, well, I'm going to put it this way, son. It would give me no pleasure to see you killed, but I'm, I'm willing to have that happen in order to save the noble name of the Milk Toasts. <laughs> <laughs> no way, man. I live free on the ocean. Not about your rules and your giant house and your eleven horses. Not into it. I want to live free. We've got I want 15 a horse. horses. 15 now. horses. Yeah, can we have the horses? Can yeah. horses? Yeah. How, well, let's go. Can we live free? Let's take the mansion. Are you anywhere near the woods? Mm, well, yes. We have very large. I'm not adopting the rest of you. I'm trying to get my son back. Um, may, may, may I address you, Mr. Milk Toast? Lord. Lord Milk Toast. Oh. Lord Milk yeah, Toast. He's, he's really hung up on the Lord uh, thing. I've been uh, keeping company with your son for um, some time now, mm. and um, I think you should know uh, he's an impressive fighter, whatever you may think of his chosen profession, and I just wonder if there isn't a way out of this that works for all parties. If the name Corazon de Leon is out there in high society, what if that pirate were to disappear and another pirate take his place you could go home tell everyone that Corazon won't be a problem that he died at sea and a rebirth in a new life for your son make me a persuasion check um, I'm persuading you to give up your son <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's going to be tricky you're looking to beat 20 looking to beat 20 5 <laughs> 11 um, no, I, I don't think that will wash. You're not coming home. Can I try this way? Sure. Like, what are you going to say? What are you going to say? Uh, I'm going to say, we go back into town, we find a likely looking young man, we say, you will go back to a life of luxury, you have a big house, you have a title, you get your, your, your perfect son, I get to carry on my life as a pirate, all your appearances will be kept up, and I can stay living my free life as a pirate. Oh. Uh, for the persuade attempt, so charisma persuasion if you've got it. Yeah, I've got persuasion. <laughs> oh, hello. I feel like. <sighs> no, I think I'd rather have a dead son. <laughs> oh, damn, this guy. Um, Your father's kind of a he, dick. Yeah, tell me about it. That's why I live as a pirate now. He nods at Panniers, who no. um, oh. draws a rapier oh, no. and just slowly starts to advance oh. on you. Um, we look to Corazon for a signal as to how yeah. to proceed. Don't pile on Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> don't pile. 
<laughs> yeah, this is backflip your, on top of him. This is your dad, dude. We can we can just try and escape in the skiff. We don't, you know. We'll take these pirates out, and then we're gonna have a word with Daddy Dearest. Okay. All right. All right. The boss. Warm up. How many pirates? Are How many pirates are there? I scan. I scan um, the deck. There Same. are. I mean, there are. Probably about a dozen, but they're running around trying to stop the ship from sinking. Oh, right? oh yeah. yeah, that's true. So we've, we've got to deal with panniers. Panniers, Maybe if we yeah. can really. This was going to really. be a much harder fight. <laughs> I rolled and the whale did loads of So I was like, yes, oh, yes, Henry. <laughs> Maybe if we just so destroyed panniers, it could end this fight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's, see, well, let's see what happens. I like that. Mm. Yes, I think you've, you've, you've entered combat there. Let's all roll for some lovely initiative. Yeah. Got a 10. Oh, eight. Oh, plus. Uh, I've got nine. Oh, plus four, Twelve. so four, fourteen. Okay, so... Uh, one plus one is two. <laughs> <laughs> egg burn! Well done, Egg burn! Egg burn! Just some great rolls. I think it's twelve. <laughs> Top roll. Uh, nine. Nine, nine only got nine. Jane? I've got nine as well. Do you have uh, any... You can uh, either choose between you or uh, roll off again to see who goes higher. You go first, Dob. Are you sure? Yeah, the old one, two. Yeah, okay. Like last time. Before, yeah. yeah. Cool. Rather fittingly, Carathon, the first move is to you. Mm. What do you do? Cut him! I... I shout. Cut your dad. <laughs> no! Oh, uh, oh yeah, no, that's right. I draw my rapier and I leap towards Panniers and I say, Let's see who the best captain is now, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> and I have him have with used my rapier. <laughs> oh, Do you fight like a cow? <laughs> you are looking to beat a 13 armor class. Okay. Harder to hit. Ooh. It's nine plus four plus two. Hello. Six. Yes, you hit yeah. him. Uh, roll your damage. Two. God, I'm rolling like an idiot today. Oh. <laughs> it's random. Um, no, it <laughs> <laughs> It's quite impressive. You, you take his hat off. Um, <laughs> Sweet. Which, you know, and he, you sort of leave him with a graze yeah. over yeah. one eyebrow. He's my yeah. daddy. Which, yeah, of course Sweet. he's looking. Yeah. He's watching. He's actually sat on a barrel. He's kind of like. Doing and that this, was your hat, so that's symbolically yeah. very. Oh, do I flip it back onto my own head? No. Can I roll, <laughs> can I roll to do that? Yes. <laughs> Go on then. Just roll me a 20 and let's see what happens. Okay. 10. Oh. Bloop. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, no. It lands in the sea. Panius has got a, a facial wound that in a couple of years is going to be a really cool scar. Um, and Meryl, when it's your go. He's not going to be around. No. <laughs> He's going to be around right. a couple of minutes. <laughs> I'm getting out my longbow. Okay. Okay. And I have got, I've got a two, but I've got plus four, plus two, which is eight. No, you yeah. miss. Um, it goes wide, I'm afraid. Uh, okay. So what's old Panniers up to? What's, uh, what is old Panniers up to? Bring it. Hatless Panniers. He is, panniers the hatless. taking a swipe at Corathon and <gasps> missing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just as I thought, Panniers, the pupil has not outlearned the master. <laughs> <laughs> pupil still a pupil. <laughs> looks like, looks like uh, your attack was avoided by the very man who was trying to avoid it. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I don't really know what to say to that, <laughs> says Panius. Just so happy to be risking my life right now. <laughs> Speaking of which, Dob, what are you going to do? Uh, Meryl, when those squids that we used, uh, yeah. are they still active? Are yeah. they still like thrashing around? Yeah, the they're still around. In the theatre of horse. <laughs> okay, uh, well, how about I go in for a massive shoulder barge and try to just smash <gasps> him into the To the drink. Yeah. Yeah. For four. Damn. Okay. Go for um, it. Yeah, that's going to be a strength attack. Um, so you just got to roll a d20 and try and beat 13. 13. Yikes. Okay. Come on, Dob. Come, Come on, Dob. Dob. Smash that you. guy. I believe in you. Shoulder Dob. barge him. It's a 20! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Dob kind of <laughs> Dob sort of hunkers down yeah. and starts charging across the deck, lowering yes. his head, and his shoulders are working. Yeah. Um, and as he barrels into Panniers, 
Um, <laughs> he sort of loses his footing, steps back, and his dog like steams into him like a train. He basically steps onto your slice of pirate. <laughs> <laughs> and slides across the deck before like tumbling into the air and spinning uh. and spinning. Mm. And you know I said the battle whale wasn't in use anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and you know how Henry. humpback whales are baleen whales. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Uh, Henry the Whale just kind of like skillfully jumps up and just <laughs> boom, boom, and then <laughs> back in. Sea spray goes up and uh, Panniers goes down into <laughs> the belly of a whale and kind of a calm it's be a descends place to come over back the ship. Years. Everyone kind of looks around. No one's quite sure that really just happened. <laughs> <laughs> so the, <dog's> just like, <laughs> 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 the pirate crew, kind of, they're still bailing, but they're doing it very much with their heads down now. They're trying not to be noticed, um, except for one who turns to you, um, Colothon, and says, oh, um, we'll, we'll probably see you in t two years. And yeah. <laughs> heads back, back downstairs. Yeah. Um, so it's just you on top of the deck, some very busy pirates, um, and yeah, Lord Milk Toast who is now just sort of sat on yeah. the barrel. So, as you probably gathered, we're not coming with you. Yeah. Yeah, so you're probably going to want to head on home and not try this again. Is this really the sort of person you're comfortable spending your time with? <laughs> yes, yes it is. These guys are great. Did you not see him shoulder barge? That person, earlier on, she electrocuted a man with dark magic. He's got bombs and <laughs> uh, is a bit keen on religion. <laughs> she, the whale! whale. That was all her doing. <laughs> These no, guys I, are awesome. I saw all of this. I thought it was absolutely vile. It um, was great, and you suck. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there's counterpoint. Yeah. <laughs> I turn into a cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that, she's got that going on as he well. Removes his. I, th I assume it's like a pants nay. He kind of <laughs> takes off his glasses. Right. Um, <laughs> don't see anyone, see anyone doing that back in Abel Forth, do you? No. Yeah. Um, and you know what? I'm not sure I'd like to. So um, if we could sort of revisit that bargain from earlier. Um, I'm just going to go back and tell everyone you're dead. That would be fine by me. Right. You can carry on doing whatever this is. I fully intend to. Um, don't use the name Milk Toast. Um, you are <laughs> dead. Dead. for a while. <laughs> Good. I have no son. Uh, if you could... I mean, if you could change the pirate name so I'd stop having to hush up people who know mm. your true identity, that would be handy. I'll tell you what, give, give me all the money you have on you right now. How about this ship? Right. And get these pirates off here. Okay. And then, yeah, I'll, I'll be, uh, what do you reckon, guys? What's a good pirate name? Anyone oh, whale. Yeah, Corazon. Oh, <laughs> Corazon de whatever the Spanish is for whales. We'll look it up. Balena. Balena! Oh. Yes. Alright, from now on I'll be Corazon de Balena. <laughs> and I'll leave it here with all your money and this ship and my friends. Fine. Um, right. He sort of, he doesn't, he doesn't seem that phased. He sort of reaches into his pockets, pulls out two very full coin purses, just drops them and sort of oh. just walks off, heads down to the, head, sort of heads down the ladder, heads back up the ladder. Where's the cat gone? I needed to call off the squid. There <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Yeah, Definitely. if you could call off the... Yeah, thank you. Um, <laughs> the squid kind of all dissipate. Um, go back to being normal, non-murderous squid. Uh, and he gets in a little rowboat, starts rowing himself back to shore. Um, you're ordering all the pirates off the ship. Don't we need them to do ropes and... I can show you guys how to do that. We've got enough sails. people here to, to run a ship. Yeah. Uh, five people can do a ship. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we but need I mean, to... does it have to be we five people? Because, like, I was thinking cocktails on deck. Yeah. yeah. No, we can, do, we can just bob around here for a while if you like. I know some good islands, uh, lovely beaches. All right, well, then, uh, as the sun starts to go down over Castor Falls, you see uh, one little rowboat with a very rich man who doesn't have anything on him right now, sort of rowing his way to shore. You see other boats being staffed by um, a bunch of pirates who are... Heading, heading for, heading for the town, and presumably planning to do some murdering in about two years' time. <laughs> uh, and you see a band of five unlikely adventurers bailing out a ship and doing their best to stop <laughs> oh. it from sinking. You'll probably manage it. Don't worry about yeah, it. You've got, got lots of, of wadding and tar and yeah. stuff like that. Can use mend. Aww. Mend. There we go. <laughs> mend. <laughs> yeah. Rob is just playing a song yeah. to kind of get everyone into mending the ship. 
Let's mend the boat. I've got something for this. What? So, I told is you about our life's work. <laughs> oh god, oh, is he? Is it All mending right. ships? <laughs> I'm putting so, it overboard. Better be mending ships. I think ships. what would be appropriate at this occasion to celebrate a successful mission is... I've got, so I've got this box. <laughs> <laughs> I've also been working on a bomb delivery system. Right. Which is basically a crossbow that allows me to <laughs> deploy divine retribution at range. I what? thought maybe I would fire it into the sky oh, yeah. for a beautiful oh. fire display okay, um, over the ship. Before we dob, uh, if you want to use your orcish strength to bring up the barrel of rum that I keep hidden. Uh, I don't think they'll have found it. It's uh, down behind some beams. On the deck. Set that down. Uh, if you want to play us some nice music and we'll enjoy the, uh, the display. I've got something to tell you. <laughs> I've got news for you. Gonna put some wheels in motion. Imagine the fireworks. Get ready, cause we're coming through. <laughs> hey now, hey now, hear what I say now. Happiness is just around the corner. Hey now, hey now. Hear what I say now, we'll be there for you. The Venga bus is coming and everybody's jumping. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> Cheers. To another successful adventure. Yay. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you everyone so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this new Dungeons and Dragons adventure. Thanks very much to Loading Bar here in Dalston in London mm -hmm. for putting us up. And thanks again to Johnny, our illustrious Dungeon Master. Woo! Excellent. Adventure. Like and subscribe and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.